Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. And in this video, I would like to demonstrate to you another example of template-based cooking. I'm going to use my basic chicken stir-fry template of four stir-fry some tenderloin pork. And my neighbor raises hogs, and he gave me some pork tenderloin. And normally, he cooked the ten pork tenderloin either in the oven or on the grill. I decided I'm going to stir fry it instead because it is much quicker. I'm going to use the same stir fry template for chicken. Then this time I'm going to apply it to pork. Uh, to cook meat ingredients with cornstarch is a good way uh, to keep the meat have a smooth texture as well as uh, keep them moist and tender inside. Uh, this process is commonly known as velveting. I'm going to use about one tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm going to use my Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok to cook this dish. Uh, this wok can be doubled as a small frying pan because it has a large flat surface area. Uh, because I'm going to use a method known as shallow frying uh, to first fry the pork tenderloin. Uh, I'm going to use a pair of tongs uh, to lay out the pork on the surface of the frying pan. I'm going to fry one side first. It actually doesn't have to take very long, about uh, maybe 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, I then turn them over to fry the other side. Uh, by coating the pork with cornstarch, it will give it a very light breading. Uh, this will cause browning followed by charring. Uh, the end result is very similar uh, as you would deep fry or even grilling. This cooking process will create caramelization as well as charring of the food ingredients. Uh, the end result is that it will achieve the criteria for wok chi. And if you would like to learn more about the different properties of wok chi, you can take a look at this video. And when you cook a dish, you will want to choose the right ingredients or combinations to create the maximum flavor. And this many sliced carrots will provide a great flavor complement to the pork. Uh, I'm going to season the dish with a uh, half teaspoon of lemon pepper, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and half teaspoon of onion flakes, and finally with half teaspoon of mushroom seasonings. Uh, this seasoning is very mild, and the intention is to enhance the natural flavor of the pork as well as the carrot. A flavor is everything in cooking. Uh, as the saying goes, you love flavor first uh, before you love the food. Uh, the best type of flavoring is that it is subtle, uh, complex, and interesting. Uh, you enjoy this type of flavoring best. At the same time, it is also more satiating. Uh, onion adds flavor to almost all types of food ingredients. Uh, onion adds complexity to a dish and make the flavor far more interesting. Uh, the reason that I add the onion toward the end are because the, I want the onion to maintain its crisp texture. Uh, when you add onion to any dish in the wok, uh, the onion will caramelize and they will stick and burn to the bottom of the wok. Uh, by introducing a smell of water in this area in combination with a wok spatula, uh, you can detach and scrape off anything that might have burned and stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, this is an excellent method uh, for returning flavor back to the dish. At the same time, you can clean the wok. Uh, I call this method the spot cleaning method. At this point, I add a small amount of hoisin sauce. If you'd like to learn more about hoisin sauce, uh, you can take a look at this video. The hoisin sauce will give a sweetness uh, to the flavor of the dish. Uh, it also will give it a slight fruity flavor. Uh, the seasoning approach that I am using now will provide a mild resemblance of a teriyaki sauce. Uh, after a quick taste test, I would like to increase the sweetness of the dish, so I add a small amount of sugar. Uh, by making a minor adjustment as I cook, uh, this is my approach in flavor chasing. Uh, by using this simple basic template uh, for stir-frying chicken, I apply it to stir-frying of 
this tenderloin pork. Uh, this is the advantage of template-based cooking uh, because instead of using a recipe, uh, you can use a basic template and to cook many different types of dishes. As you can see, there are many different possibilities in cooking this tenderloin pork dish uh, because you can make substitutions of the vegetables. I could have easily substituted the onion with uh, broccoli or with cabbage. Uh, furthermore, I could vary my seasoning approach. Uh, when you change the ingredient combination, you are going to change the flavor of the dish. Uh, therefore, when you think about flavoring, it is more than the seasoning that you use, but it also includes the type of ingredients that you selected to create the dish. Uh, if you find this video helpful and informative, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a video each day uh, to help you to make your home cooking fun, healthy, and sustainable. Uh, I will help you to understand as well as to adopt my fast cooking system. Where the word fast is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking as demonstrated in this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.